people, this segment was made for this one. Um, topping our appropriately titled segment, The Skinny, this morning, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. The annual spectacle always turns heads, and this year it was all about the new girls. The angels strutted their stuff down the runway, spreading their wings as performers Ellie Golding and The Weeknd and Selena Gomez provided the live soundtrack, the iconic fashion show taking place in New York City after a stint in London last year. The fashion world's current girl, Gigi Hadid, wowed the crowd as she sported the lingerie with some lavish accessories, getting high marks in her first year as an angel. She did well. Uh, the other newbie, Kendall Jenner, daughter of Chris and Caitlin, of course, held her own, looking very much the seasoned supermodel. No slip-ups to report. They all nailed it. And they're in the front row to support their daughter, Chris and Caitlyn Jenner. Although they sat separately, they did share a hug as proud parents. And they look good. Mm -hmm. And next, Breaking Bad, of course, getting enshrined at the Smithsonian. Yesterday, the stars and creator of the mega-hit television series <laughs> were on hand as props from the show were donated to the Washington Museum. Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston both spoke and our cameras caught up with them backstage and we asked Cranston if he would ever check out the exhibit once it's in place. Well, I'll have to wear a disguise. You know, I'll have to wear, I'll wear a hat, I'll be bald, I'll put on a little, little goatee and a mustache, maybe some glasses, so no one would recognize me. Yeah. So basically, you're saying the old Heisenberg yep. look. And before he spoke, Cranston walked over to the props table to put on that pork pie hot one last time. Hat. Maybe he's returning. Maybe he really is alive. Maybe Heisenberg. He's coming back. All right. Well, next, actor Shia LaBeouf with his most provocative stunt yet. And that's saying a lot. In recent years, he's made headlines for some very odd behavior and apparent performance art. His motivational speeches and strange fashion choices have perhaps eclipsed his work as an actor, starring in a variety of movies over the years, including blockbusters and critically acclaimed films. But LaBeouf's latest role as him, playing himself. Hmm. He's watching all of his movies in a row at a New York City theater and live streaming it as an art exhibit dubbed All My Movies. He started yesterday at noon and will likely finish around 10 p.m. tomorrow. He's reportedly remained silent and refrained from speaking but has been courteous to theater goers. Admission is free and you can watch him live right now. I hope he makes time for bathroom breaks. I can't wait to log into that. And <laughs> finally, Amy Schumer, the current queen of the comedy world, moving on up away from the west side. Oh, it's our real estate porn part of the morning here. She's putting her New York City apartment back on the market for $2 million, and Schumer only bought the Upper West Side pad just over a year ago for $1.7 million. It's described as cozy with a burning fireplace, high ceilings, and a built-in bookshelf. It has one bedroom, and boy, it looks well staged. Yeah, it does. The skylight kitchen <laughs> has the latest amenities, but perhaps the best part, the rooftop. Oh, terrace. Ooh. Plenty of room to entertain and watch the sunset or the sunrise over the Manhattan skyline. And Amy will take a cut of the Realtor fee for showcasing this. Yeah, you're welcome. That, that's actually not <laughs> really a bad nice. fad. That yeah. rooftop is pretty beautiful. Yeah. Can we roll some of the Victoria's Secret video on the way out? Coming up. That was... Getting a body part. It wasn't part. long enough. Getting a body part from Tinder. We'll explain.